All right, guys, if y'all didn't see my video last night, I'm going to make another one. Got the Steph Curry shirt on. I slept with this overnight. Listen, listen, I made a video last night, probably the best video I ever made, explaining the way how LeBron James is still able to put up great numbers and stats, and I compare them to Steph and Kobe, and I'm add Kevin Durant to that mix with LeBron. Like, like, like KD is still getting 30, but it's no impact on winning. Just how I said LeBron James 30. And I, and I broke the video down into in this way. I said, listen, I said this. Kobe and Steph is tied. Steph is number one, Kobe number two. In the most 20 point quarters in NBA history, in any quarter of a game, get to get 20 plus points. I believe Kobe got a game, one game, one game with 30 points in a quarter. I think Clay got one and Melo got one. But these talented sh shooting great score like Steph and Kobe, they're able to catch teams in flurries of a, a tidal wave, a like a tornado coming at you, and a team cannot keep up with that two or three minutes straight. Like we've seen it with Trace McGrady. Beat the uh, he scored 13 points in like 30 some seconds against the uh, San Antonio Spurs. End up losing that game, it was down, but you can't keep up with a guy doing that to you. That's my point about Kobe and Steph. Kobe and Steph were uh, they're so talented shooting the ball, scoring the ball. They hit a team, let's say first, let's say, let's say first quarter, Kobe scored 25 in a quarter, and the team scored and the Lakers scored 40, and the other team scored 25. Lakers are already up 15 points, double digits in that game. So they off to the races. And then you got to – and so that game pretty much over. Oh, I, I say third quarter. Kobe come out and scored 30 in the third quarter in Utah. He scored 30 in the third quarter. And the Lakers team scoring – but he scored 30 points in a – he scored 21 of them in a five-minute stretch. What what A team cannot keep up with that, especially if you're getting stopped. If you're getting stops and Kobe got 21 points in a five-minute stretch and, and the Lakers team getting stopped, you're going to get blow out. Same thing with Steph. I seen why Steph plenty of time. And they say third quarter is it's, it's the Warrior quarter. Steph come out and have 18 points in four minute stretch. And the game is out of and the game is out of reach because four that's too many points by one play in, in the one stretch. And that team, and if you're not knocking down shots to go along with Steph, it's demoralizing. He's demoralizing. They demoralizing the other team. Well, LeBron James and Kevin Rick do now, they able to get 30 points, but they may get eight. 18 in the first half and 10 points in the fourth quarter when the game is out of reach. Like they may, or sometimes they may get 15 in the first half, four points in the third quarter, but score 11, 13 points in the fourth quarter where the game is out of reach. They're not scoring in flurries and bunches to where a team cannot keep up with them scoring wise. If that, if it, if that's making sense to you, because it, it makes all the sense in the world to me. It's all, that's why. LeBron can never be better than Steph because Steph, because Kobe, I mean, LeBron can never be better than Kobe because Kobe has a, a skill set that allows him to go get 30 in a quarter while playing defense. Or why he's scoring 30 and it's not, the team cannot keep, other team cannot keep up. What LeBron James do and Kevin Durant do, they just trade baskets with the other team. They trade baskets with the other team, with teams that more offensively gifted than their teams. So all they're doing is keeping float. Trading baskets, you're not going to win a game by trading baskets. You got to get stops. That's why the Phoenix Suns, the, the Mike D'Antoni Phoenix Suns never won a championship because they don't they didn't get stopped. They think they can outscore a team. But some teams that, 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 that some teams that pay defense, they can score just like you, it's going to win because they can get stops. They can they can eventually get stopped, but you don't you don't get stops. And that's what happened with what the, the Lakers and, and Brooklyn. They don't get stops to be able to trade baskets with other teams. And that LeBron James came out and had 18 points in a three-minute stretch. They're going to win a lot of games. They're going to start blowing teams up because they, they can get stopped. So LeBron James now, he has to – but he had that skill set to go get 18. He don't have a skill set to get 18 because he don't. He can get hot. I seen LeBron get hot, but he can't get hot. Like, the game, they beat Golden State. He scored 56 last year. He need a floor like that. He, but that, that shit happens ever so often. Like, he barely get hot like that. He rarely get hot like that. Catering don't even have a 60-point game in his career. So Kevin Durant got to get more offensive aggressive. You can't worry about field goal percentage. See, Steph and Colton worry about field goal percentage because they can be 0 for 8 in the first half, but go in the third, go off in the third quarter, have 20 points, and go 9 for 11. And no team can keep up with one guy scoring 15 to 20 points in a five, six minute stretch of a quarter. Why they're not trading baskets with them? Why that, that? Why Kobe and them teams getting stopped? Kobe and Steph lighting it up, and now that the game out of hand. That's what Kobe and Steph is so real. And that's why they number one and number two and the most explosives in a quarter, 20 points in a quarter. You got to put James Harden when he was in Houston, how he did. That's why they was winning games. 
because teams couldn't keep up with his scoring. In that in that vast amount of span, the stretch, timing is a timing of the game and how you score. LeBron and KD scores when they down already in the fourth quarter and they score in the first half just trading baskets with the other team. That's the difference in between Kobe and Steph and LeBron and LeBron James and KD now and LeBron his whole career. But KD now, but KD never been a KD is a talented scorer, great scorer, offensive shooter, but he doesn't have a stretch where he just dominate a stretch of a headquarter. Because he's not up there with Kobe. I think it's Kobe Steph and I forgot the third guy. But it's not KD. All I know probably be James Harden. Uh, but yeah, that that that's what's going on. And I, I want to reiterate that to all my fans. I want y'all to watch this video, like watch the video last night, and like subscribe to my video. Cause all they doing is trading 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 baskets, bro. You trading baskets with a team that's heavily talented than you. And what and, and that team at the end gonna get stops while you gonna get you can't shoot. That's that's the that's that's the big difference, bro. And I wanted to re, I want to make another video. Cause I want to make sure people see it and watch it. So it's going to be part two. Y'all like subscribe. I'm out.